we'll be back, everyone, for the next episode of The Foley of Man. Today, we're going to be looking at Chapter 7, Velvet Remedy. They actually consider us gods, but then who can blame them? Well said. Well said. Mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm Chris. Okay. Then what does that make me? I have no idea. Okay. Well, then I'm Robert. By the way, hello, everyone at home. We've got the camera running again. Hi. You are being broadcast live from my kitchen, because that's the only place we had room to adequately stare at the camera. Yes, let's... Oh, and everyone at home that is listening, so we are now gesturing. Uh, Chris is doing a, an interpretive dance. Uh, it's called to, the Vanna White. Is this some kind of, like, um, uh, is this some sort of a fertility dance that you're doing? Are you blessing my kitchen? I have no idea, but I'm doing it regardless. Yes. With fervor. Okay, so... In this chapter, we have uh, Little Pip having come upon Velvet Remedy from the last bit. Uh, her having to fight off more where, of Well, the, where are we? We're so she in, comes across her old, old, in Old Appaloosa. Old Appaloosa, which is a, a slaver settlement. Slaver settlement. Yep. And awful. She, really, an awful place. Yeah. You know what's the problem great. with being a slave? The hours. I thought it was the pay. <laughs> <laughs> now, the severance packages are yeah. fantastic. Um, but no, the... Uh, so she ends up killing a lot of them, making her way to the armory, learning a little bit more about what's going on she there. She has learned the will of the warrior. The will of the warrior. She has become one with the pony. One with the pony. And <laughs> so she 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 ends up, uh, the, the, the door of the armory is blasted off by a rocket, but right. Calamity is continuously helping her from up high. Yeah, he's keeping out. watch, yeah. like, like somebody with a sniper rifle should do. And that so they fly. and so they're trying to uh, get get at Velvet Remedy. Yes. Um, stop the alarm from being raised. It eventually gets raised, and she sees Velvet Remedy, and Velvet Remedy's all like, "Oh no, no!" Guess what, everyone? Velvet Remedy's working for the slavers. Oh no! It didn't work. Hold on a second. Let's try it again. <laughs> Velvet Remedy's working for the slavers. There. Real, really shocking. I mean, it's, <laughs> and she's like, but these are these are nice town ponies, and they have entire lives. And little Pip's like, but they're slavers. <laughs> <laughs> they are literally imprisoning these people. And then she tells some BS story about, um, it, not Applejack, uh, Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie the healer. Fluttershy. Fluttershy. I can't keep them all together. Okay, Fluttershy. Fluttershy was the healer. Yeah. Uh, or leader of the Ministry of Peace. Leader of the Ministry of Peace. Leader of the Ministry of Peace. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Just going to turn that... Putting that away. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sound effect. We're done. <laughs> hey, come on. We're not getting paid to do this. What kind? What do you, what do you expect? <laughs> Top tier production quality. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, come on. There's booze involved. We've got you. Know, you're you're lucky. You're lucky. We're lucky that we've got the equipment that we do. You're lucky we've yeah, got the equipment that we do. You're lucky that we care so much, so much. Okay. So anyway, it it all comes to a head when uh when the actual boss of the slaver town shows up, an alicorn. Yeah, an alicorn. Uh, which little Pip immediately is like. We're not worthy. <laughs> and the alicorn's like, bitch, you aren't. Oh. The only spell you have is levitation. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, then unfortunately, due to circumstances, the alicorn is, I mean, just completely crushed <laughs> under the weight of an entire train car. Yeah, that that would do it. That so, uh, would do it. Little Pipsqueak has uh, learned quite a bit from um, um what's his name? Tra uh, Oh, well, train. Crane. Yeah, crane. 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 I was going to say, hold on. I was like, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's lot, lots of names associated with objects, and so you got to figure out which object is correctly yeah. linked to so, the... Yeah, I know. It's not... Hey, it's your job to know the names. It's my job to, you know... React. What, to I was going to say, I guess... I, what is my job? To just be a neutral observer? I suppose, or something. I'm like, I don't know. How does anyway, one become neutral? So there, there, was a, uh, <laughs> there, was a, there was an interesting uh, quote from this chapter that I absolutely actually adored. You um, absolutely, actually. Yep, yep, absolutely. Um, when she when she walks in and she goes like she just gushes, you were you left and then I went out after you and then I know I learned that you were with these people and then all this stuff happened and we just came to save you and I'm not stalking you. I'm not stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the perfect Wait, reaction. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Velvet. <laughs> Remedy. <laughs> I wheeze loudly when I'm scared. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, I, it was a good chapter. It was interesting. You know, mm-hmm. there was nice buildup. Everybody got their asses handed to them. Yeah. Yeah, you know, little Pip was like always bleeding from a leg somewhere, about to fall over and die. And then that's how the chapter ends. Little Pip falls over from exhaustion because. Shockingly, that's what happens. Yep. So I guess what? So what are we learning here? Are are alicorns way less rare, or is there just a very bad breed of alicorn that's going on? Uh, for the listeners at home, for the listeners, I just poked to my nose again because <laughs> okay, for the listeners at home who actually know the story, obviously you know the answer to this yes. question. You know how deep it goes, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, there's more here than meets the eye. There hmm. is far more going on in this universe than we have even touched on. Yeah. So we're 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 not in like we're not in an area where I would say we're in world building mode, but we have not yet fleshed out how the world works yet. Goodness. And we will soon. So All right, so let me just make sure we haven't missed any of my notes. All right. Okay. Yeah, Alicorn, evil, green, powerful magic. Yeah, so I'm getting this thing so like uh, the unicorns have all sorts of spells, but I feel like we've just are, haven't seen any of them. Um, a, a few. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, we've gotten little bits and pieces of it, but you know, little Pip doesn't even seem to be that interested in in learning more. That's that's clearly not her. Yeah, I can't remember a specific part of the story where certain oh, there's <coughs> where where unicorns show off the spells. I know there's a certain part where alicorns will sh- will show off the spells. Um. There may have been one of the unicorns that could wield fire in yeah. some capacity, but I couldn't remember it. I thought it was really that. interesting, too. I want to point out, you know, we were talking last week about high intelligence factor for Little Pip, which which is the case. That is something that seems to be to be good for her. Um, but lifting the mines out of the mud, levitating them and using them as a weapon, mm-hmm. while at the same time having to save uh, Calamity. He gets hit in the chest by some kind yeah. of a spell. So... Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it, I mean, it requires a certain amount of concentration. Now, now you'll also notice. I, I want to. I want to touch on because you probably noticed this. I don't know if you wrote it down, but you probably noticed this, or will notice it in the future. Little Pep has a little bit of the ADD. A little bit. A little bit of that because she'll because she'll be like she'll be like oh my god they're gonna break in the door and he said ooh terminal yeah and nice nice <laughs> well and there's always that urge to spy. Yeah. Ooh, let me read their diaries. Um, <laughs> nerds. Uh, <laughs> um, but I also thought it was interesting, the the setup and payoff that K-Cat has done. You know, we have this note of like, wow, I didn't see any ponies with a missile launcher, but there's a lot of missiles in this armory. Yeah. Maybe I should watch out for that. That's concerning. And, of course, it, you know, pays off. Yeah, yeah. And and that's the, that's, I mean, that's the also a funny part is you'll notice in Fallout, You'll notice, wait, these raiders have missiles. They just have missiles, but they don't have a missile launcher. They just have missiles. Which doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Yeah. But I, that's one of the things I want to point out, and all credit to KCAT for this. It's very well written. I said that from the first chapter. This is very well written. Um, I'm understanding a little bit more as we go along the appeal of My mm-hmm. Little Pony in the Universe, but I've told you before, I still think that this just works. As a fallout story. You'll start seeing exactly where it starts tying in when, when magic starts becoming more yeah. prevalent in the universe yeah. itself. I, so I have a question, and and you may not want to answer, but it's so, so like, I have a feeling that super mutants are going to have to come around at some point. Are alicorns like the super mutants in this universe? Are they fabricated and created? Am I, are we getting a little... Okay, all right. I, all right, I understand. All right, that's fine. I know, I know you don't want to spoil anything. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little bit of housekeeping. A little bit of housekeeping, not to move, but we'll we'll touch on a few things here. Uh, I was a dummy, and last week we for one forgot to tell y'all that we weren't doing video, even, and now we're doing video again. Yeah. And last week we were just pressed for time. Uh, yeah, we didn't even we didn't record until late Sunday, and we didn't publish until Monday, which is 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 unusual. Yeah. Um, uh, it was just that sort of a week. Generally, uh, if you're interested, we'll try and post to the page sooner a little update saying if we're going to be delayed. You know, I, if you enjoy listening to the show, I want to deliver it on time. So definitely expect it sometimes on Sunday. If we're ever late, it'll be on Monday at the latest. Otherwise, I'll just say, you know, we're sick, we have the flu, can't, you know, yeah, whatever. 
Everyone has died. Literally everyone, everyone has died. Everyone. But last week I neglected to ask for listener questions, and so we got amazing comments this week, but we didn't get any questions. So I'm yeah. going to ask you once again, would you please submit any listener questions you have? Uh, as, as I said before, anything within reason, uh, we'd be happy to answer. I mean, so. even about the story so far, if you're noticing that I'm not asking a certain yeah, question something that, that we you want on. to ask him, ask him. Um, and we'll bring it up in the uh, next episode and actually answer it. I also want to say thanks to KCAT, not just for writing the story and letting us talk about it, but for your support of the show. And I appreciate your comments in the comment section, and I, I think that's great. It, it means a lot to have um, the author kind of uh, approve of what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she's, she's like, I, like I said before, she, she keeps her ear to the community. She, yeah. uh, she does uh, communicate with it uh, very often. So. And uh, for Falling Pictures Productions, thank you for your feedback every single week. There's always yeah, there's, a a, nice there's a few people out there who, who will yeah, continuously I, I, sorry, comment. Sorry, I know so. I, just, I just singled one out. But for all of you who leave the comments, we read every single one of them, at least for the time being. It's pretty digestible. If, if we ever get to a point where there's hundreds, that'll be harder. Yes, that would be far more difficult. And if, you, and if you start saying things like, Jeez, man, Robert's so gay. I ship Robert and... <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Um, Reaching the end of my cord here. Or, or like, you should just kill yourself. We're not going to read those comments. I mean, maybe we'll save them up and read them all at once. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. Like, like a composium. <laughs> Of, yeah, uh, we'll, f- we'll follow them all up with, go fuck you yourself. You are cancer. Aw, oh, that's so nice. That is my sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Also, I cannot neglect to mention your favorite segment. Oh, the, boy. The Pony Pun of the Week. The Pony Pun of the Week. This week's Pony Pun is Gesundhof. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to use that in a sentence? I already know what it is, but go ahead. Uh, you Gesundhof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> I had to share. It must have been but a you know pun different? that you said. You know what's different about me looking up the Pony Pun of the Week? You know this shit. He knows this shit. I have to go look it up. Can you imagine what my browser history looks like after researching for this show? Terrifying. It's horrible. It's horrible. 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 All right. Good chapter. Really cool. That little pip kicked some freaking ass. Yeah. Hardcore. Oh, yeah. Um, it was a great payoff. You know, the, however, however, flashes to Dragon Ball Z. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Now, that actually is from the show. So What's from the show? The, the, over, the overglow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's from the show. So, yes, it may actually be a reference from Dragon to Dragon, Dragon Ball, Z, Ball Z, the salt but, the spirit bomb. But it is from the show as a reference to I gotcha. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, also, one last thing I want to touch on before we forget. Ponies can cast protective shields. Yes, that so, is one of their spells. But apparently it doesn't work when you have a train car dropped on your head. Well, I mean, it's only <laughs> if it's so effective. Yeah, I was going to say, super effective, critical hit. All right, I don't have anything else to add. Anything else you want to ask for me? Nope, I'm good. All right, for Chris, I'm Robert. This has been another wonderful episode of The Foley of Man. We'll see y'all next time.